It's time for CBS 19 Sports from the Monsoor Law Firm Sports Desk. Well, it is great to be joined by the head football coach of the Dangerfield Tigers, Davin Nelson and coach. It's great to finally be able to talk some football, as I'm sure this is something everyone has been looking forward to. So let's dive right into it. This year has just brought a lot of challenges for all of us on and off the field. We're tackling so many unique situations. What sacrifices have your guys been making to be able to play football? Um, well, you know, just at that young of an age, um, as a teenage high school kid, you know, going into your senior year, going into your junior year, whatever it might be, uh, you know, during, throughout the entire summertime, you know, you want to go to different pool parties, you want to go to different gatherings with your friends. Uh, you just want to be able to hang out in the locker room and, you know, chit chat with people after practice. Uh, having to sacrifice those things because they know, you know, we're not trying to stay indoors around each other. Get in, get out, get home, you know, go hang around in big groups. How have your practices changed with the certain COVID-19 safety and health protocols that you have to take now? Uh, I think everything becomes a lot more meticulous. You know, things that you kind of took for granted, you know, when you go on a water break, telling kids like, hey, you guys got five minutes for water, you expect them to get over there and get their own water. Now it's, uh, you know, the water breaks become a little bit longer because uh, what we're doing ours, the only people that can touch the, the water, you know, cows or bottles or whatever it might be, are the coaches and the athletic trainers. Um, and then that way we're able to limit the number of hands that come in contact with those. Uh, and then that, then they're not being passed around from kid to kid to kid. And then also um, the amount of spacing, the way you warm up even. We've looked at all those different things. And instead of us doing our normal warm-up lines, you know, we're spaced out every five yards all the way down the field. And, you know, when I say high knees, we all do high knees at the same time. So different little things that, you know, uh, you don't really think about, but you have to think about now, just trying to make sure that you follow those guidelines and help keep uh, kids safe. Uh, those things have, have really changed the, the course of our practice. Let's talk about your quarterback, Zaylen Jeter. He seems like he's got a dual threat element to him. He's coming off a really great season. How has he improved this off season to you? Uh, I think his, his knowledge and understanding of the game. You know, he's always been extremely football savvy. Um, great kid, extremely shifty, got great speed, got, got a really strong arm. Uh, his first two years he played slot receiver for us and his last two years he's, been, he's played quarterback for us. So his understanding of, you know, what other positions on the field, offense and defensively are supposed to do, uh, in the grand scheme of things, I think is what's really grown for him over the last, you know, this past summer. He's come along so much uh, just in his understanding, but it almost feels like we're able to have uh, like a coach in the scrimmage out there on the field because he can get people fixed in a heartbeat uh, when somebody might not know or might not understand exactly what they're supposed to do from play to play. So that right there for him, I think is huge. I think that's going to be, you know, greatly beneficial for him going forward, um, even after high school football. Lastly, you are going into your third season as the head coach uh, of this team. Um, you've been able to bring success in such a short amount of time. How do you put into words what it means to be able to continue the success for this program and town? Oh, it's just, I mean, that's amazing. This is my first um, head coaching job. Uh, and it's a blessing it's at Danny, a place like Dangerfield or even at Dangerfield. And I'm just excited to be able to see, you know, where, where the, sky, the sky's limit type thing. So trying to go win one this year. Uh, which is the expectation every year, but uh, it's just you know it's just a, it's a fun ride, and I, I you know I don't I don't I don't ever want to stop, so I'm excited. 